Hi, welcome to my video. This is the Eclectic Male Witch. I got a very special video for you tonight, guys. Um, I've actually been out foraging. And I found some very good plants. Um, one of them, you might have heard of it. It's called mullen. What I'm going to be doing is making a mullen extract. Basically a mullen tincture. And I'm going to be making it it's medicinal. Um, oh, before I go any further, guys... Um, I was going to draw the contest name tonight. Fortunately, I'm having trouble accessing my list. Um, I went online to the YouTube studio, and for some reason my list isn't coming up. My subscribers, I, in order for me to pick a winner, I have to have that list. So I'm going to try it again tomorrow. And hopefully, it'll work fine, because I'm getting a little frustrated with it, to be honest with you, because it's already been delayed. Before, Alright, so that's out of the way for right now. Well, Mullen, basically, I don't know if you've ever seen it. It's a huge plant. People would just pass by and think it's a weed. It almost looks like, the leaves almost look like corn leaves from a distance. There's this great big stalk that sets up and has a bunch of flowers on it. And I'm going to tell you what it's used for. First of all, I'm going to tell you what I got. It's actually very simple. I got mullein leaves, Everclear, which is alcohol. It's a grain alcohol. It's very strong. It's for extracting things and stuff and infusing. It is 95% alcohol. It's 190 proof. There's no way I'd be drinking this stuff. I'm using it to make medicine out of. So, basically what mullen is, it's an expectorant. And if you don't know what that is, it helps your lungs and stuff. Like, basically it clears up your chest congestion. And it works very well. And it, this is, it helps support, this is what it is. It helps support lung and bronchial health. Cough, congestion, bronchitis, asthma, constipation pain, inflammation, headaches and gout. It also has antiviral, antiviral, antioxidant, antibacterial, and anti-cancer properties. And the flowering buds can be made into an eardrop formula to help treat ear infections. It can also be applied to the skin to help treat burns and wounds. Also for magic properties for spells, it can be used for things like protection, purification, and courage. But I'm making an extract tonight, something healthy. Something that could actually be medicinal and beneficial to people. I've already made another extract. I'll tell you about that in a little bit. First of all, I'm going to take these leaves and I'm going to start breaking them up real fine. I don't really have much of a smell, kind of a weedy smell to it, but it's perfectly safe. It's not toxic. I love foraging, guys. I've actually just got into it not that long ago as far as foraging for to make medicine and everything. But you've got to be careful. There's a lot of poisonous plants out there. I've been using an app to help identify things and learn, but I also double check things and research because I don't want to take any chances getting anything toxic that could hurt people. So, so I'm gonna break this up real fine. And you only have a little bit of Everclear left, so I made something else. I'm gonna tell you guys about that in a little bit. I'm just gonna make a little bit, I don't even know if I need all of this, but even if I don't, I'll just take the rest and dry it out. I'm going to break it up as fine as I can. Make sure there's no bugs in here. <laughs> if I had a picture to show you guys the plant, I would. If you want to look it up, it's M-U-L-L-E-I-N. It grows all over the place where I live. And a lot of people would just pass by and think it's a weed. The thing is, it's 21st century, and unfortunately, especially here in the United States where I live, Foraging seems to be kind of a lost thing. Yes, there's people that still do it, but 100, 150 years ago, guys, people had these skills. Native Americans also had these skills, and they would make medicines and things that could help. Unfortunately, a lot of people use chemical things nowadays that either aren't hardly effective at all, or they can do other damage to your body with all kinds of side effects. This stuff's generally pretty safe, but don't take my advice for it. Always check with your doctor, because you don't know what interactions I might have with any medication. I would never tell you that, so I'm just going to keep breaking it up real fine. Get some of the things flowing in here, like some of the juices that are in there, because I want it to extract real well. 95% alcohol will definitely do the trick, so... But I've taken an interest in foraging, not, not, I mean, definitely for, like, getting ingredients for spells. But also, for uh, making things. Now, a good friend of mine introduced me to this plant. So, he likes to forage and 
make things too, which is really cool. We have that in common. I think that's awesome. So, I actually got this just yesterday. I was up on a hill hiking, and when we came back down in the valley, I noticed this. But we found something else. It's actually kind of rare around here. And we grabbed it and we split it. And we made, I'll tell you, like I said, I'll tell you about that in a little bit, but. I don't want to forget, because last time I said I was going to mention something in the video, I forgot. And I'm gonna, I definitely don't want to do that. So. Just breaking it up real good with my hands. Getting some of the membrane, membranes in here, like, broken open good. Starting to feel the juices in there now. The moisture and everything. That's good. That's what I want. So. Now I got about this much Everclear left, so let's see. Because I used like about three fourths of the bottle for my last thing I made, so. I should have made a video doing that, but I didn't. Because I kind of just wanted to get it done. Yeah, like, natural things have always interested me to an extent, but now, like, natural things you can get in the woods to make, like, supplements, and just natural medicine. Nature has so much things to offer us that we should take advantage of these things. Like, and this is a time of year, midsummer, and then come going into fall, early fall would be a good time to get stuff, too. It's mushroom season. I mean, I've been looking for things like that. You've got to be so careful. I'm, I'm even a lot more leery when it comes to mushrooms than I am even plants because there's some really nasty, deadly mushrooms out there. And you really got to know what you're doing. Now, there's some that are easy to identify, like certain puffballs, but even a variety of puffball can be toxic. There's one called pigskin puffball. And that can be pretty poisonous. So, you still got to be careful. Chicken of the Woods is another one. Um, Turkey tail. I actually watched the documentary. People were picking chicken out of the woods and they were selling it to restaurants. And they made some money on doing that. So I think it's just about broken up enough. Yeah. All right. Now I'm gonna take my bottle. And depending on how much alcohol I have left, I might have to add a few more of this, but it's hard to measure because I didn't pour it in there yet. I'm going to start just adding some of this in. This isn't a spell. This is just making some home remedies, guys. You're supposed to completely cover the mullein. So, but just till it covers it, just maybe a little bit more. Now I don't have to end up getting more, and I really don't want to have to do that. Because right now, I can't go back out and buy more Everclear. Uh, liquor stores, we have to get it here in New York State, where I live. And they're closed right now. It's only, it was $10.20 for a bottle. Next time, if I'm going to keep making these things, I might get like a bigger bottle. This is just a pint. Uh, they got quartz and stuff too. But as I do this more, I think I'm going to maybe get some more. Alright, now that it's in there, take my Everclear. Phew, that stuff smells strong. Alright, carefully just slowly start pouring it in. straight up just like that it's gonna be some strong extract when it's done I'm just making a little bit I'm not making a whole lot but it said to completely cover it so that's what I'm doing it looks like it just covered it after absorbing it so that's perfect right there just like that moving around a little bit and what it said for about several weeks like four to six weeks it just let it set and fuse every once in a while take it and shake it I'm going to put it in a dark place and let it extract and infuse. And then when it's done, you take some, some cheesecloth or some sort of you can filter out 
the leaves, and what you have left is, is, a, is a medicine, a natural medicine. So it's actually pretty simple. Now, I've got another thing too that I've been working on. So this is how you make a molen extract, basically for a tincture. If I'm saying it right, tinks, tincture, yeah, tink, tincture, yeah, there we go. Because I'm going to put in these little bottles with drops and stuff, so there's that. Now, I want to show you guys something else. I don't want to pull it out of the dark too long, but... Alright, see this purple stuff right here? Have you guys ever heard of ghost pipe? It's actually pretty rare. Me and my friend were foraging on Friday, walked up on a hill, and we were looking for chicken of the woods because it's just that season. Instead, we found something much, much more valuable to us called ghost pipe. What it is, it's a plant that doesn't produce chlorophyll. It relies on trees and tree roots for its nutrients, so it's completely white. It's shaped like a... The reason I think it's called that, I, don't quote me on this, it looks like a pipe when it's bent. Like there's a flowering top, and it looks almost like a pipe, but it's white colored. So it's called ghost pipe. And this is good for pain. And uh, I guess I said it can be used for seizures too. But like I said, I'm not a doctor or pharmacist, so... And there's a bunch of other good things you can use this for, guys. Like anxiety. But if you can see... If you can see it in there, it's moving around. It almost looked like a, it almost what I want, it almost looks like a mushroom from a distance, like some sort of fungus, because it's so white, but it isn't. And it's supposed to turn purple, some sort of chemical reaction. It wasn't purple when I first put it in. Now after I had it for a while, it was starting to turn a little bit purple. Once I, you can tell it's extracting real good because look how purple that is. It was nothing like that. It's almost completely clear when I put it in. That's where the rest of my Everclear went, right in there. A lot of medications, especially cough syrups and stuff, are have alcohol base to them. So, it makes perfect sense to me. But ghost pipe, look it up. Like, we, we hiked for several miles, and we only found one little patch. Now, there was a couple off to the side that we left, so it could keep growing. We didn't take the whole thing. We left a couple little pieces on because we don't want to overdo it. We want it to grow back. So... But yeah, after walking all that miles, we found one little patch. Now, mullen grows all over the place. But, but this, we have not found all over the place. So, so that is ghost pipe extract. It's going to be a tincture, tincture when it's done. So this is the one I put it. I just spent over 24 hours now. So I'm going to put that back in the dark. Keeping it in my closet in a dark place. This is perfect how it's covered. Now, if I need to add more, I could always get more and do it. But I think once I strain it out, press out the liquid from the leaves, the medicine will be there. I'm assuming this is going to turn a little more green once it's done. So I'm just going to shake it a little more. There we go. This is just a small amount because I never made this one before, so I want to see how it turns out. But it helps things like asthma, guys. I mean, you know, think about that. Like, and all these other things I mentioned can really be good for to help. It's like you can buy herbal supplements in the store, more or less. That's what this is for. Native Americans, even tribes in Amazon, Africa, they still make things. They know they make extracts and things. They know how to make medications, guys. And that's a skill that I want to have. Even here in the 21st century, when a lot less people know how to do it, yes, there is people that forage and they know how to do things. But it seems like there's a lot less. They depend on all these chemical things. And I got off a lot of these chemical medications I used to be. It's so my goal to eventually have like a whole row of like these, these natural medicines from nature just to have a bunch of different things and label them what they can be used for. You got to be careful, like I said, when you're foraging, you don't want to get anything toxic or poisonous. And you want to uh, know what you're doing because you can really get injured yourself or hurt or kill you or yourself or somebody else. It's no joke. If you know what the plants are, this is very recognizable. Mullen is doesn't really look like anything else except maybe like a corn stalk. Other than that, I can't think of anything else it looks like. So that was what I was going to talk about to you guys, was the uh, ghost pipe. That was the other one. So, Alright guys, I just wanted to show you that. And this is how you make a mullein extract. that will be turned into a tincture when it's done. I'm going to let it set for about four to six weeks. And then I'm going to strain it out. Cap it off in a little bottle. Like I said, I might get these little, like, uh tincture bottles where they have like a little the suction cup on the top and you can like do drops and stuff that's what i'm thinking i can get those right at my dollar store too so all right guys before i go 
Remember, everyone has worth, value, beauty, needs to be loved. Everyone has worth, value, beauty, deserves unconditional love, unconditional acceptance, unconditional friendship, unconditional respect. And also, guys, if you'd like to help out with this channel, I'd greatly appreciate it. My cash app is dollar sign eclectic81. That's dollar sign E C L E C T I C eight one. My email is the same as my PayPal. If you have a suggestion for a spell or a discussion video, um, let me know how I'm doing. Just want to say hi. Um, you can do it through my email. The same as my PayPal if you want to donate that way. It's eclecticmailwitch at gmail.com. Eclecticmailwitch at gmail.com. Alright guys, please like this video, subscribe to my channel. And click on the bell notification icon to be updated with my latest video. Thank you for watching my video. This is the Eclectic Male Witch. Blessed be.